Hi, it's Nuf from Better Music, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Mesa Boogie WD800 bass head. Well, I've got a bass here, so let's have a listen to it. It's going to be a rather frank overview of this head. Probably won't go into too deep of specs about what frequency does what. I'm just going to move some knobs, look for some cool sounds. All right. <laughs> So let me run through what we're uh, what we've got here. Got the uh, standard Mesa cab. We're mic'd it up. Oh, it's an, we're running a Mesa Boogie Ultralight 4x10 cab. We are miking that up with a Bayer M88 microphone, an absolute classic. We're also running a DI out of this head. Hopefully, throughout the video, we can sort of flick between the two, and you can have a listen to what's happening to the cabinet as well as what's coming out of the head. Today's bass is uh, well today's bass sound brought to you by uh, John Sir. This is a Sir bass, jazz bass uh, with all the standard trimmings as you would expect. It's probably the cleanest sounding bass we've got. Something that would really highlight how well this this little bad boy operates. Unlike a lot of the other Mesa heads, this guy comes in at about the three kilo mark. Maybe just a tick over that for all you uh, bass players, even your singer can carry one of these. It's got plenty of controls on the front, but not too many to get your head around. Okay, on the front, you've got a, uh, a mute switch that is foot switchable. You've also got the active passive. Uh, when you flick it into active, uh, into the active position, it is a 10 dB roll off. Uh, just, just a quick, quick, quick example. So I've got it selected to passive because I think I'm running a passive pace. Okay, so passive sound. Same sort of thing, but inactive. Minus 10 dB right there. So for today's thing, we're just going to leave it in the passive setting. Input. It's the front end of the uh, of the amp. You've got uh, a high pass filter. We'll come back to that. Then we've got the bass here, uh, passive mid treble with this parametric in the middle. Oh, it's pretty much standard on uh, uh, Mesa bass amps for the last few years. Then we've got the master output, but over the far end, that's that's where the flavor is. Okay, so stick around for that. I'm going to run you through some sounds and. Uh, Dial a few things up. Hopefully you like it. Okay, so I'm going to try and play a few of the same riffs uh, and then toggle with the amp. Okay. Okay, and I kept something secret. Okay, just for that riff, you can overdrive this amp. It has a tube front end. This is okay. This is where it gets good. Okay, uh, I'm just going to back off the mask a little bit just so I don't shatter any of these camera lenses. Because remember, it's 800 watts here. Um, I'm going to push the input. In fact, look, let's give it everything. Okay, the whole lot. Keep an eye on this little overdrive light. Okay, this guy. There you go. It's flicking on and off. It's, it's letting me know that I'm driving that tube. Okay, so that same riff again. EQ, everything is exactly the, the same. Okay, a bit of volume there. Okay, here we go. Pretty cool. I love that. I love that feature. You don't have to have it belting long as much as that. Uh, it's purely to taste. Just to keep it clean, I like to run the uh, Mesa inputs always around about the 12 o'clock mark. Uh, I'll bring that master back up. Uh, okay, so this high pass filter. This is pretty groovy. If everything on the amp is flat and you're like, oh, it kind of sounds cool, 
maybe I want just a touch more cut or I want it to I want it, I want it to look I want it to kick like Voltron's big toe okay okay let's we're gonna move it all the way this way okay uh, same kind of riff Okay, back all the other way, all the way over. All right, that's pretty thumping. And again, just quickly in the middle, back to the middle. Okay, so that's that high pass filter again to taste. EQs, again, like I said, this is going to be a relatively quick overview. We know what bass does, you know what treble does, and the parametric EQ, if you don't know what this does, you need to get in store and play with it. Okay, uh, I, look, I'm speeding along because I really want to get to this. This is the power amp dampening switch. Okay, for me, now this is only my opinion, for me this kind of, it really affects your cabinet. Okay, so what it's going to do to your cabinet on the, it's got high yeah, medium and low. So on the high setting, this is like a real sort of contemporary, very now, especially if you're like a pop kind of band, great for uh, any of the ported cabinets, things like, especially like the Mesa Boogie cabinets that actually have their ports at the front. A lot of other traditional bass cabs have their porting at the rear. It just lets them open up a little bit more. Uh, when you flick it across to the low setting, uh, it's, it's great for some of those old sort of, you know, the those old TL bins and that sort of thing, more your classic cabinets that are really well worn in and broken in. It has a different kind of blooming effect, but I'll try both of them. Uh, I'm just gonna use the, the high and the low, and I'll see what you think, again with that same riff. So we're on the high, okay. Okay, across to the low setting. Okay, so I hope you could hear that. Uh because I know definitely in here, it's uh, on that lower setting, it kind of gave it a bit more of a spongier kind of feel. On the high setting, it was definitely a lot more, more articulate. The note was very now kind of sounding. Also, on the back of the amp, it's got a couple of features that you, you would expect. So it has the, obviously, the jack input for the foot switch that operates that mute function. You've got, obviously, your speaker outs. It's got your DI out with, uh, obviously, the ground lift, but it has also the pre and post switch. And something pretty cool for, well, um, these days, it has a USB out to charge your phone. They're not going to say it. It's to charge your phone. It's really, so to take all your selfies and upload them to Instagram saying, check this out. I've got a mess of ramp. It sounds rad. Okay. It's got that. Oh, what else has this thing got? Uh, man, that's about it. As it's quick overview, like I said, we're trying to keep this quick. The thing's light, light as. Guys, please come in store. Come and try it out. Try and lift it. Give it the one finger test. Bring your bass, bring whatever. Come and have a listen. Thanks for watching.